Hey guys, welcome to Archland. We're gonna be discussing kits of both Kabir and of Clarice. Um, are they really bait banners? So let's discuss their kit in detail on uh, if you should decide that you should pull for their banners or not. Okay, so starting off with Kabir. Obviously, the rating here for Pride Win is late game. He's going to be uh, AC. Um, and we'll know why. So, moving forward, he is a darkness tank. Darkness, which he has an ability with the three, you know, um, primary elements. You have uh, lightning, fire, and water. You have advantages there. But if you encounter light, then he is going to have a problem. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, his kit. So he has a lead, a unique passive. So defense or physical defense increases up to 20% during battle. Increased damage dealt to targets with debuff by 40, 50, 60, and 70. Okay, so he has a similar um, skill set or ability or, you know, a synergy or gimmick, <laughs> if you might say that, with uh, Peacock. Uh, but Peacock is a warrior class, so definitely has more damage than uh, this guy, than Kabir. So, but similar um, mechanic, uh, they have increased damage when um, targets have debuff. But usually, again, that mechanic is best suited for warriors, not for, um, for tanks. So take note of that. So he has some skills here. So he has a a um, he can actually this is take take damage for allies within one tile when attacked. So he also does a debuff at the end. He also has exhaustion, which is minus twenty physical attack and uh, magic attack. Then a passive, which is, um, this is weird. Okay, so th th this is an automatic damage when they attack you. So more or less, it's more of a counter-attack passive. Then this one is counter-attack damage. So he's built really for attacks, not really for defense. Unless if you want to get this one, this, uh, this main skill, you have to contend with that. Um, skill uh, with, with that uh, skill tree or row or whatever you call it top or bottom so next one is inflicting debuff this one is for stun receives less physical damage when attacked um, but again um, he is going to be more of um, his kit is going to be more on damage dealing not really on being an escort being able to shield people and again he's kind of confused whether he's a tank or a warrior and this one is also attack based on debuff okay so for his old unique weapon this one is gonna give him a plus one counter attack range which is nice and a plus 15 physical attack during battle so can't be removed so after a skill gain, Secret Patrol for one turn. So that is it. Um, not really impressive, just basic. And just my thoughts on Kabir. Um, he His kit, okay, kit-wise, he is a warrior. Stat-wise, he is going to be a tank. So it's a bit conflicting on how to use him. You can't really put him as a tank because his skills otherwise don't speak as if he's a tank. But if you put him in a warrior in a role, um, he is also he can't also what do you call this? He can't also deal that much damage. So again, he's gonna be fitting in the middle, and in terms of that, he's going to be outclassed in the future. That is why. As you can see here, he is rated a C in late PvE. So probably he's, he's not even good in PvP. I'm, I don't think he's going to excel in PvP. So don't even bother bringing him in PvP. PvE-wise, he's going he's gonna to go down in terms of, in terms of what do you call this, 
in terms of um, how he is ranked from A to C. So again, I don't suggest him. There are a lot of better tanks there. Um, I'm sure the banners for the other tanks will, will, will go back around. If you can just you know, hold on a bit and um, use your current tanks, uh, probably SR tanks, they would be better than this guy. So I would suggest holding off summoning for Kabir. Again, um, in terms of pros and cons, increased uh, attack, increased damage in, if, if targets are debuffed. Again, that's a warrior skill. Can debuff its stun enemy. That's good. But again, he is a tank. His stats are for tanks. Okay? So only the darkness element actually makes him decent. And again, he's going to be dipping if you're going to be using him. Dipping towards the end game towards probably non-existent so you could probably use him now but down the line i don't think you'll be using him so those are my thoughts with kabir um uh if you can just hold on guys there will be good tanks or probably there will be a rerun of tanks or existing banner existing tanks that will rerun their banners so more or less you know just be patient and you might, you know, you might be able to get lucky with the other tanks. But again, do not summon for Kabir. Please do not. Let's go to Clarice here and see what Clarice can do. So Clarice was a free character. Okay, so imagine me telling you that right now. And you just play the game. Clarice is a is a free character when you when the game started I nearly wasn't able to get Clarice but fortunately I did I was actually able to summon a second copy of Clarice which is weird um but again Clarice is a decent for me she is a decent uh, assassin she's rated uh, PVE early uh, PV late S she can also be good in PvP, provided that her you you limit her targets to soft targets. When I say soft targets, it, it's gonna be priests and mages because she can ignore escort. That is actually her strong suit. So if you wanna eliminate a couple of um, a couple of um, uh, what do you call this? A couple of soft targets, mages and priests early on then and you know you can even have a swap uh, kill one it's okay that Clarice is being killed but if you kill a, a an important mage or an important um uh, mage or priest then it's going to be a win-win for you especially if that support is very good okay the drawback for clarice is that she is fire uh water right now is very very good in pvp so might as well, you know, try to be more cautious when using her. Let's go over her skills. So she gets um, more damage with active attacks, meaning with her basic attack. After killing enemy, gain movement after the battle, two to three tiles, and gain dodge buff for two turns. So the important that you select the softest enemy so that she can move and avo dodge, avoid incoming attacks. Okay. So again, she has fire. Um, increase her critical rate so that you know um, most of her skills here give her an increased critical rate which makes her lethal in killing soft targets as well do not let her go one-on-one -on -one with hard targets because I'm sure she she doesn't have she won't be able to kill them so be 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 selective really and she'll be effective for you especially if you could kill then go out of harm's way then that would be very good so as you can see she she has a lot in her kit critical crit rate increase crit rate increase this one is ignore escort so this is going to be very good and also she has ignite she gives ignite which is also useful ignite as well um, increase physical attack defense by 10 which i think you won't need especially if you she has very good dodge and she also gives ex exhaustion as well and uh, ignores escort so two skills for ignore escort and what can i say um if you use her if you use her well 
She cannot be played in, in auto, definitely. You have to manually play her for PvP and for P PvE. I think she is also rank S for PvE. Uh, for PvP. Because, um, again, for PvP, you just need to kill a few select... Um, what do you call this? Few select uh, a crucial targets, especially if they're, they're squishy, then they're, they're going to be, you know, they're going to be falling... Uh, once Clarice, you know, runs in their way. So moving on to her unique weapon. So physical attack plus two, critical rate also increased by two percent. Radiant blade for every two turns. Every time you move through fourteen tiles. So radiant blade is plus two physical attack, plus two crit attack. When using an active attack, attack the enemy with ignite. When at when afflict the enemy with ignite, the effect is removed after attacking. Okay, so not too special weapon, but nice to have. And again, as you can see here, I probably I I, I actually just the uh, rambled, you know, um, how she's good at picking her targets. Soft, you know, soft targets is is the best for her. She has good dodge, but she cannot dodge all day. So make sure that she is not cornered, because again, she will really die. She can't dodge hundred percent. I'm sure, but. Again, she could probably dodge one or two, but on the third, I think she'd be gone. So great again, killing lone targets, squishy lone targets, to burst the map with very good mobility and can really have very good dodge. So those are my, you know, my thoughts on both Kabir and Clarice. Um, for beginners who don't have Clarice, I'm sorry, um, you missed. Her in you know the freebie when we started, but again, if I give you my honest opinion, if you're good with Clarice, then go with Clarice. Um, but the best assassin in the game with similar playstyle would be Semi. So if you're good with Clarice um, in getting her and you like her playstyle, then get her. But if you're willing to wait, okay, if you're willing to wait for another rerun for Semi, again, uh, Semi, I got I got in her banner, and I got her off banner. It's weird. Both of them I got off banner. But anyway, um, if you're, you're really patient and you really want to wait, then save up for Semi, or probably you could get a Semi uh, off banner pull, probably. So, again, Semi is the best. She would be second for assassins with the same playstyle. Um, I'll be I'll, I'll be comparing assassins in the future because we have Michael with a different playstyle. But again, Clarice with the same, almost the same playstyle as Semi, uh, will be second. She won't be first, so I'm sorry. Uh, again, Clarice, if you want to pull for her, if you need her in your roster, if you want to build her, if you just enter the game. Then go for her, but, 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 hold on. I have a second video in a while, which will give you guys a teaser on who's coming up. So before you decide on these two as well, check out the teaser. Check out the next video while you're at it. So, okay. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.